the essential components uh, that are that should be included in any test plan, you got to backtrack a little bit and determine what it is the customer is trying to prove by the testing. So once you have that, that's item one. You've got to work backwards and determine, okay, how am I going to prove that? So you need to figure out which equipment, test equipment that you need, um, which consumable materials, maybe heaters, thermocouples, anything like that, and then which piece of data logging equipment you need and which sensors go with it. From there, you develop a timeline. It's going to be in what order do I need to do this and how quickly does it need to happen? That's also based on customer need. And once you have that, um, the only pertinent things that go in further than that is um, just which data, what order it needs to be in, and when you need to deliver it by. From there, that gives you your outline and template to conduct testing, collect data, and um, polish a finalized report. Okay, the way we prioritize testing cases to make sure the most critical aspects are tested first is again, based off the customer need. Do they need these containers to ship immediately or do they need to prove out that they can contain some type of thermal event? Once they give us that answer, we can decide, okay, do we want to do the UN testing so we can give it a proper label to where it's legal to ship dangerous goods? Or does their end item user want to make sure that what's being shipped in that container is going to be contained in the event of some type of catastrophe? The best practices to document a test plan to make sure that all objectives are met is one, developing proper test plan as we uh, discussed earlier. And then you just have to organize the data based on each test in order. So when you go back to finalize the report, everything's got its own specific folder. For example, you, I'll often take the test plan and already make a final report template. And from there, I'll go in and put folders for each type of test. So when that test is complete, that data will go into what I call its data packet and it's already got a folder somewhere saved on the computer where you stop. So when you come back a week later to do a finalized report, everything's already neatly compartmentalized and you just stick it right in the report template and then send that off to the customer for review before final draft. They'll always let you know if you've missed an objective or if they would like to do some follow-on testing. 